Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great. I'm making a little message today. It's gonna be pretty low key, but I actually wanted to be in the zone interpreting a conversation with my guides or something beyond some interdimensional being. Just putting an echo out into the universe and see what echoes back. If you haven't noticed, I'm really into these shorts a lot more than I expected. And if you remember the short where I said I felt like I was selling my soul, <laughs> maybe I still am, but uh, I'm feeling a lot more happy about the process. <laughs> it's actually a lot of fun to challenge yourself to try to say one important thing in 60 seconds. And it's getting me very focused on a psychic development approach because if there's one thing that I could give back to the world, it's to teach people that you have this ability. You're not just a human being stuck in a human world. You're a part of everywhere. And everywhere is communicating with you all the time. And I was telling myself, you know, and make a short about this one key detail that nobody talks about. And it comes from the whole third eye. What is, what is real psychic ability? What is a third eye? Where does it actually come from? It comes from your imagination. That was brought up in a comment on uh, how to project your consciousness. Just a simple technique. Simple technique to just close your eyes and move your mind around your house. You're familiar with your house. So you just start by moving your mind around somewhere familiar. But what's interesting is you're going to start noticing details that aren't there in your day-to-day -day life. So where are you when you move your mind and you see details that aren't supposed to be there? You're in another dimensional plane. <laughs> Seriously. You're allowing yourself to acclimate to an expanded sight. And one of the comments was that, well, you're just teaching people how to use your imagination. It's like, exactly. Where do you think psychic ability comes from? I am bold enough to tell the world that it comes from your imagination. Because anybody who wants to tell you where it comes from wouldn't want to say that because all of a sudden you'd be a laughing stock and you'd be a kook. How, how do you expect your soul to bring back information into your body that you can translate with your human ability? It has to be creative. So when you're a child and you don't think about where your invisible friend comes from, you just have one and you just communicate and they communicate with you. And then people are like, oh, that's so cute. You know, and what an imagination. Well, you grow up and you still have invisible friends. It's not because your imagination is uh, making this shit up, you know, <laughs> bleep, <laughs> whenever I say a bad word, I'm like, oh, shoot, that slipped out. I'm pretty good at keeping those bad words, like, down and silenced. <laughs> I let that one slip. Anyway, uh, so your psychic ability comes through you, and it translates through you. Comes up from deep down inside, and yes, it's going to feel like your imagination. The difference between your imagination and your psychic ability through your imagination is that you didn't put the information there. You didn't on purpose put it there. So what I mean is you may be familiar with your home. You project your consciousness and you just move your mind like an eyeball and you move it around your house and you, you interact with your house. You open the fridge. You, you feel that your feet are on the floor. You look into your living room, your bedroom, your bathroom, and it's going to look all familiar because you've seen it a million times. But there's going to be a time where there's going to be something there that's going to be strange, okay? You can try fun things like I said, turn your TV on and see what comes on the screen. If it's static, it's saying something. Is it because it's always static? Could be. What's your relationship with the static? What's your relationship with the TV? Can you change the channel? Could you walk into the TV and go into an interdimensional plane where there's static? Why would you want to do that? Why would you even want a channel that has static? Do you see how this isn't so much about... Um, it? Yes, it's the expansion of seeing something that you didn't put there. That's the psychic ability side of the imagination. It's where the information comes to you. For instance, you imagine yourself in a forest. Well, your forest is going to look different than my forest. It's going to look different than someone else's forest. And your forest is unique, vibrationally unique to you. How is it daytime? Is it nighttime? Is it winter? Is it summer? Is it fall? 
Are the trees singing? Are they silent? Is there really chunky bark on there? Is it smooth bark? Is it a jungle? Is it pine trees? Is it oak trees? Does it look like a fairy kind of forest? Are there pathways through it? Are the trees really close together? Are there weeds on the ground? So all these details, you just bam, you're in a forest. Now, when you start to describe what's in it, you didn't just decide this many trees with these colored leaves at this time of day. It's like, bam, it just appeared to be in this way. That's the psychic side of your imagination because you didn't put it there. You could say it's your subconscious. Everything is important. Every single thing is important. This is expanding your ability to use your brain, you know, and it's, it's not just in your head. It's in your heart. It's your whole body. I do this for a living and I'm literally translating thousands of threads of information instantaneously. That's how fast our translating skills work. It, I, I could be there for a split second in a journey state and feel like five minutes have passed. Like whenever I have to say, okay, give me a second. I got to look around and I got to interpret a bunch of stuff. It surprises me how, you know, it's like I need a minute. And I need a few minutes and I'm always back within like five seconds. It's like, Wow, that felt so much longer than it really was in real time. But you're translating information. It has to start somewhere simple. And so you start with something familiar, like I'm going to move my mind. I'm going to project my mind to a forest. A forest where on Earth? On some other planet? A forest inside yourself? A forest from a past life memory? A forest of what kind? We don't know yet. But that's the most vibrationally important forest you could ever fathom entering into. And you're entering your energetic material into that forest. You're entering your energetic material into your home space and another version of itself so you can see more deeply into the energy of your home. Why is it like that? Well, you can ask the question and be dumbfounded by it. Or you can start to interact with the details. And the details do respond, okay? Because everything is made out of vibration. Everything is. Everything is made out of vibration. So, I was, yeah, wanting to talk a little bit about shorts and how much fun I'm having and getting to share insight on how you can develop this skill. And I, it's like I keep cringing at the, the thought of this word psychic because most people don't like that word, but it's, it's a sixth sense. But if I were to call it mindfulness, maybe that's a little more comfortable for people. But you literally can use this basic technique and you can find out anything you want to know. Anything you want to know because you, you are literally tapping into your imagination. But now it's not your imagination anymore. You are tapping into a cosmic library. And that cosmic library now is akin to what we to call a third eye. Now akin to your heart. Is now akin to your soul. Is now akin to some cool place everybody wants to go but can't figure out how to get there. But it was your imagination that you had to start with. Then you had to practice. And then you had to realize some things that were pretty cool. And the more you worked on it, the more you interacted with it, close your eyes, go places, the more the skill builds into something pretty phenomenal. It's no different than the child that has the invisible friend. Didn't have to learn the skill because was carrying it all along. How did they have that invisible friend? It's a spirit, a soulmate, a demon. I had invisible friends that were monsters. And I preferred the monsters because the monsters never criticized me. And they wanted the company. And they weren't evil, but sometimes monsters don't want to let you go. <laughs> because they don't want to grow and not all monsters are evil, okay? And some of them just want to be loved, but some of them don't know how to just love themselves and become the next level of who they are. And children are attracted to healing things in interdimensional spaces. And sometimes children are attracted to very dark things. And the dark things oftentimes will scare them or challenge them and get uh, some kicks out of that. But if the child knows that themselves... And they know their own presence and they don't know their own light. There's no reason to be afraid. And they'll see right through the insecurity of those dark beings. And they'll reach a hand of light out and terrify the living crap out of those dark beings. Because what is fear afraid of? It's afraid of being healed. Evil is just fear. It's manipulation. It's illusion. It's insecurity. It's all that stuff. You have an innocent child who knows their own light, knows love, and can see right through it. Reaches a hand out of light. And now all that is dark is illuminated. But it has to feel safe with illuminating itself. So, so this is, I'm talking about a lot of different things here. How important it is to develop 
this skill and it's a lot of fun and it's gonna feel pretty basic at first and feel kind of ridiculous at first but that's how you shift gears and you get back into the center of your creative spirit you get back into the center of your heart and your light you get back into the ability to heal what is what is around you heal people heal yourself same technique let's say you've got um, I don't know, an illness of some kind. And let's say you've got arthritis. Um, it, it could be anything, man. I don't know why my mind's running a blank. Because sometimes it's like there's a thousand things that we all need help healing. Whether it's a physical thing, a mental thing, an emotional thing. You can't be attached to the idea of what it is. Let's say you need uh, healing for your liver. Like you desperately need healing for your liver. Then you close your eyes and you move your mind, your eyeball, into the concept of a liver. You could move it directly inside yourself to that location or you could just open up a whole universe that it represents your liver and then step into the whole universe and ask the universe to ripple information back to you because this is a cosmic library. If you contain it, it's going to feel like your imagination at first until you start to tell the difference between your thoughts, your visions, your dreams, your ideas, and then something coming beyond yourself, something bigger, something more creative, something more abstract. Now, when you, you experience your all-seeing eye, which is just your soul, you step into an infinite space that represents your liver. Now you just wait for something to appear there. And it might be a really painful memory you forgot about. And now you're, you're blatantly looking at yourself with uh, an emotional conflict uh, with someone that you forgot about. And maybe it it's it jump started a certain dietary habits or some and you know and it's just like this domino effect but it all started here is like this first point of view and now it's time to be the child that knows themselves as in their own light reaching a hand out to heal the toxic evil dark scared fearful painful echo that is this important detail that is going to heal your liver you're not uh, just like dumped out in the middle of, ocean, of the ocean without a life preserver. Th this right here, what I'm talking about, is the life preserver. So I'm giving it to you. Now you take it and use it. Why am I calling it a life preserver? Well, it could be a whole ship if you want it to be. And it could be an island in the middle of the ocean. It could be a whole other world. But it's going to help you grow. It's going to help you find your ground. It's going to help you find yourself. It's going to help you expand. It's going to help you in every single way. You could say, all right, I've got to make a tough decision and I don't know what decision to make. I don't know if I trust that person. You know, I don't know how I found myself in this situation. Why do I keep making that decision? Why can't I make different decisions? Why does this thing in my life keep repeating every 10 years, you know? We all have weird questions, right, that we just want the answer to. And you could sit thinking about it all day long, or you can become still, like a still pond. Go within, which is going to feel like your imagination, until you start to realize you're going to allow yourself to be present with the infinite cosmic library of all there is, was, and ever will be that you're plugged into. And you're going to ask the question, what, why this? Or what do I do? What's the best decision to make? Who is this person, really, beneath the surface? And you can look at anything because everything is connected. We're all plugged into the cosmic library. You can get any information that you want. So this is, seems to be what I'm inspired to talk about today. I thought it was going to be a little bit more silent. But right now, believe it or not, I just channeled this message. And people don't realize that every day we're channeling unintentionally so so let's say you, your friend tells you something and you don't just instantly respond you, you step back for a minute and you take some time to digest what they said and then next thing you know and you could be in the middle of a conversation you could just say I, I don't know what to say right now but I, I'm I, I'm really blown away by what you just told me thank you for telling me that and then you pause for just a few minutes and collect yourself, gather yourself, and then something comes out of you. And you say, you know what, Th this, is, this is what's coming to me. 
this this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm feeling right now. And it's going to come from a place of presence and and spark and truth and the right thing to say somehow. And it's just going to come out of you. Not because you thought the words out, but because they just came out of you. You literally were tapped into the cosmic library right there, pulling the information through you and reaching um, a spirit hand out to your friend to share this great advice. Maybe it even, you're listening to yourself speak and you're like, wow, is, is this me right now? Am I actually saying all of this right now? We channel information, we channel positive information, we channel negative information. And so um, let's say you on purpose are having a bad day and something inside of you is like a monster and you just want to break that person. You just, you just, uh, it just wants to come out of you to be just a total jerk. And something inside you just, you just want to say the nasty things. You just want to say it. You want to watch them react to it. You want to watch them um, in pain, something. Sometimes people feed off of other people's pain. And so they're channeling negativity. They're channeling something of a monster, okay? They're channeling their inner demon. They're channeling an external demon. They're channeling the pain of the universe. Now is their pain and they're plugged into the pain of the universe that's louder than anything else inside themselves. And now they just need to dish it out on other people. That's channeling as well. So we don't realize how truly spiritual we are all the time. Nobody really makes it clear. Nobody made it clear for me. I, I made it clear for myself. And a lot of time in silence will do that for you. And it's in the silence they start to notice there's a lot more sound on the other side of the veil, you could say. If you just sit in silence, you're going to start to hear the tune of information, okay? If you sit in silence, you might not even be doing it on for any reason. Like, oh, I'm going to sit in silence, do this great meditative thing. You're just having a weird day and you just don't even know how to think or feel. And you just sit in silence for five minutes and some weird warmth comes over you. And you don't even know how to acknowledge if that was real or not, but you can't deny something happened. That is the exact same thing. Was that your imagination? What put that warmth there? Did you put it there? Like, did your human mind decide to put warmth there? Or did it just happen? So, it seems to me that I, I meant to just have a bit of a ramble today. This seems like it's like really in my system right now how important it is to give people this helping hand but you, you give the helping hand to yourself though too you know like we all want someone to help us but what if you are the greatest helper for yourself and to actually find an answer not because you thought long and hard about it but because you became silent and let the information reveal itself to you in a creative and fun way it's going to change your life you know so it seems like that's what i meant to share Thank you all so much for everything. <laughs> I don't know, one year to the next year, and I, I look at my life over the years, and it's, it's just been such crazy times, you know? And I'm in a nice place where I'm, I'm finding peace, and I'm having fun with these shorts, and I'm having fun reading your comments, and I'm having fun trying something new. So I guess that's that. If I can help you in any way, you know, check out my shorts for advice. Check out my videos. I've got over a thousand videos <laughs> full of spiritual something or nothers. <laughs> Lots of conversation out there over a lot of years. <laughs> um, check out my YouTube channel, right? And I'm also here to help you in a session. If you don't know how to build the skills to the level that you would like to see yourself building them and you need a professional look, I'm here to help. Book a session. Any amount of time is going to give you some nourishment and some viewpoint, some wisdom and some healing. They kind of go hand in hand. My website, it's abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Put that in the description. Yeah, thank you all so much. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and bye for now.